Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Mr. Silver 2000 here. Okay, today we are going to just jump into this and cover the Aurora MR. This is going to be a very short video. There's not a terrible a lot of amount of information to go over with this. You know, this is one of the first starter ships in the game. It's one of the cheapest starter packages and such that you can get. So if you're a new player, you're tuning in to look at this and you're kind of maybe you're comparing between usually it's the Aurora and the Mustang Alpha. I will go over a little bit of this ship and I will post a link to the Mustang Alpha below where I went over that ship and you can make a, you know, good comparison between the two to choose. So real fast, to start out with the weapons, you know, it has two of the size one badgers, these bulldog repeaters. Sorry, I said badgers there. These are bulldog repeaters that are just size ones. They are on gimbal, so that does help a little bit. But, you know, they're not going to pack a terrible amount of punch. It does have two size one missiles right on top, which is kind of a neat feature. I like that they're kind of exposed out here on top. It makes it, you know, kind of give it that that real industrial type feel. This, this ship is super sleek. So, you know, if it's something where you're doing some bunkers and you're fitting in tight places and stuff like this the ship can come in handy but there are just a little bit better ships in the class kind of like the Pisces and stuff like that that I'd highly recommend more than this Aurora for the price real fast the doors do open from both sides and they do the exact same thing you come out you go in and you get in the pilot seat as you can see the pilot view is kind of obstruct obstructed by a lot of these bars which is one of the features I just don't care for in this particular ship. It's why when I first had my first starter ship, I went with the Mustang Alpha. And again, I will post a link to that in the description so you have something to go off of since I'm referencing it. Now, I'm more of a wing person than kind of the, the sleek style of the, you know, kind of the quad wings on this, even though they're, they're very tucked in in a way. And, you know, the engine design on the back of this, I actually don't mind. I think this is pretty cool. Kind of, It's kind of like running, uh, if you've seen the Avenger Titan, it's kind of like running a single Avenger Titan engine on this ship, which is, kind of, which is kind of neat. Now, one thing to note on this, and the time that I times that I have had flown it, this thing is very brittle. So be careful when you're landing. You know, any, if you bounce off of anything, it's gonna soft dust this ship so fast. It's it's not even funny. It, it's very it's a very brittle ship, even though it has like the two size one shields. So just you know something to make a note of that. Now I'm gonna go ahead, since that's really not a lot to cover. Like I said, these do open from both sides, which is which is kind of nice. So again, they open on both sides. But yeah, I'm gonna jump into Urkel games. I'm gonna run through kind of like what the ship has, some of the basic features and stuff like that of kind of like the shields and the quantum drive, just so you guys have a little bit of information about that. And I will put a link to the Urkel game. So if you're a new player again and you wanna compare, that is a fantastic site. I highly recommend you looking at it so you can kind of compare the different ships that you're going to look at. and. There are reviews and stuff on just about every ship in the whole game. I have a, quite a few on my channel. There's other people who do fantastic reviews. So please, you know, make an informed decision before you make a purchase um, and get into this game. But okay, off to Urkel Games we go. Okay, guys, I got you here in Urkel Games. And just real fast, we're going to go over the basics of this ship. So, like I said, you have the two repeaters. The size ones it's not going to do a lot of damage this thing is not a combat ship this is probably for somebody just to get an idea maybe get their their flight going to get their you know to learn how to kind of get on target maybe do some like extremely low service beacons you could probably handle that just fine in this ship and it's good for like i think delivery missions and stuff like that you can do a box mission in this ship but that's really it. I mean, even doing multiple box missions becomes really hard because you just can't fit them in this. Now, if we kind of go in, like I was saying, kind of comparing it to like the Mustang Alpha, I really feel like the Alpha is just the superior ship now because of the cargo bay that they added underneath that can come down. Not only that, as funny as it is, you can actually fit a person in that cargo bay and they can lay down and actually ride back there and they do not fall out even when you put it up. And we have tested this quite a bit. But... 
so real fast they your shields grade c industrial you know your power plants industrial grade d's um your coolers grade d's and your quantum grade c you know this is going to be the lowest you can get so if this is your ship and you're going to do that i highly recommend you go ahead and, and you know get get your kind of military grade a stuff going on this it'll help out a bunch i know there there's been talks of them changing the setup on some of this to make some of the deals more balanced for what craft what kind of direction you're going to go with your ship but until then i throw the military grade a stuff on there and just leave it it's about the best you can do um like i said low dps but guys that's i'm not going to ramble on here this is that's all i have for you on this ship there's not a lot to go over i will put the link to this Urkel calculators in the description so that you can kind of go over and look at different ships maybe compare it to that mustang because if you're looking at two ships i highly recommend you looking at the mustang i have a video of the mustang that i will also post in the links and yeah guys thanks for sticking around thanks for watching the videos and supporting the channel if you haven't yet and you like kind of what i'm doing please subscribe it really helps me out and i will see you guys on the next video